Good morning. Welcome to Webb's All Age Service. We're really glad you've joined us wherever you're watching from. So I've just got a notice about Holiday Club this week. The theme this year is Brave Dave. And uh, you might remember a couple of weeks ago in the All Age Service that we uh, looked at one of the accounts of David's life. He was just a little boy and he was sent into battle to fight the giant Goliath. And he just used what he had and then he trusted the rest to God. So this year, Holiday Club uh, will be online and it'll be happening the second week of the school summer holiday. So that's Monday the 27th of July will be the first day. It'll be for four days. Each day there will be a video on YouTube to guide you through. And if you've registered with Louise ahead of time, then we'll deliver a, a bag of goodies for you that's got loads of stuff in it, all the stuff that you're gonna need to join in with Holiday Club this year. And we'll say more about that as the weeks to come, but do get your parents to register with Louise Morton. Uh, I hope you enjoyed last week's service. The young people uh, worked hard to put that together. <clears throat> and over these few weeks, we've been thinking about the theme of giants of faith. People in the Bible who are full of faith in our God, even when life was really difficult. Today, we're gonna to be thinking about a man called Job. Now, Job's life was hard, it was uh, muddled, it was confusing. And it was really sad at times. You may not always feel like a giant of faith. You may have or had feelings of anger, confusion, fear, loneliness, or just feeling low. But our prayer is that you realise that you are a giant of faith too. So let's pray as we come to worship. Father, what we need more than anything is your presence. So Holy Spirit, would you come? Come Holy Spirit as we worship. And may our worship be pleasing to you, Father. Amen. We all come different shapes and sizes Life is full Many surprises, but one thing stays the same. Jesus is on my side. I don't need to be afraid. I don't need to run and hide. When I open my Bible, it's clear as can be. The God that I read about with me. I'm gonna be a giant of faith. Like Moses, Moses, Joseph, Daniel, Esther, Rahab, and Ruth, Moses, I am true. The giants of faith, like David, David, Elijah, Elijah, Noah, and the rest of the team. I'm gonna be a giant of faith. Day, we always stick together, stick together, hand in hand, through every picture. When I'm playing with my friends, or when I go to sleep, I know you are always there. Angels are watching me when I open my Bible, it's clear as can be. That I read about with me, and I am gonna be a giant of faith. Like Moses, Moses, Joseph, Joseph, Daniel, Esther, Abraham, Ruth, Moses, I am true. The giant of faith, like Moses, Moses, Joseph, Daniel, Esther, Abraham, Ruth, Moses, I am true. The giant of faith, like David, David, Elijah, Elijah, Noah, and the rest of the team. I'm gonna be. A giant of faith, I'm gonna be a giant of faith. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. Joseph, 
I want to thank you, Lord, for loving me, for helping me, and for always being with me, whatever happens in my life. I am thankful, Lord, for the gift of life itself and for the wonderful gift of family and friends. I am thankful that I was born in the British Isles, which has four very different seasons each year and wonderful scenery. But most of all, Lord, I want to thank you, God, for Jesus. What I'm thankful for in this unprecedented season that we find ourselves in is um, to still be able to go out to work as well as um, my health um, recently tested and came back negative so it's just um, yeah just basically thankful for my family my health my animals um, and my wonderful neighbours who were there for me when I was self-isolating. So today we are doing a prayer about distractions. So, I say about distractions as the cat has a wash behind us there. So we're talking about distractions from God and having a relationship with him. So today we've got a jar and we've got a bag of marbles and the girls have actually chosen their marbles already because there are particular ones in the bag that they like but if you would like to do this at home you can use whatever you want to use you can use balls in the garden and throw them into something you can use sweets into a jar into a bowl whatever you want to use so today we're going to pray to the lord about things that distract us away from him so matilda what have we got first What's that, Matilda? Money. Money. Okay, so do you want to put that near our jar and pop a marble in to remind us about that distraction? So, dear Lord, we know that we can be distracted by money in our lives, and at this time it is hard because a lot of people are struggling. But remind us, Lord, to be generous with what we have, and remember that we can ask for help when we need it. Relationships. It's very easy to be distracted by relationships in our life, Lord, and we pray that you focus us on you and our relationship with you. And remember that is the most important relationship we have and that you want us to love each other in our relationships here on earth, Lord. Phones. Phones and all sorts of media at the moment are a big distraction from you, Lord. And we pray that we focus on the right things and we use media and our phones in the right way to connect with others, Lord, and not be distracted by those things that aren't important. Routine. Routine. We're, routine has changed a lot over the last few months for us, but it's still hard to sometimes come out of routine and, all, and the new routine we're in. So we pray, Lord, that you allow us time with you, that we don't stick to that routine sometimes and we do just choose to sit and spend some time with you church now matilda thought that was an odd one when she saw that on her card church church just because that church mm. well actually we can be distracted by church we can be distracted by not going to church or going to church and actually we need to remember the center of it all is you lord okay not the building but you Fear. So our last one is fear. We can be distracted a lot Just by things that we're scared of and things that we find confusing. But remind us, Lord, to bring those things to you. You are not only there in times of happiness for us, you're in there all the time. And we pray that you are by our sides. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Guys, have you heard about Job? OMG. I know, right? Tell me about it. I couldn't believe it when I heard. It's crazy, isn't it? What? What's going on? I just can't believe it. He was doing so well. Guys, what's going on? Is Job alright? 
I cannot believe that you haven't heard. Everyone is talking about it. Oh, come on. Like, what's the gossip? Well, you know Job's always been the successful one, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. I mean, he's got everything. I mean, I love his house with all those servants. And ooh, I wish I had half as many of those animals. Yeah, not to mention his picturesque family. I mean, who has that many kids that are both so cute and talented? I know, like, tell me about it. The guy's obviously been blessed by God, but things started to go a bit wrong for Job the other day. Why? What happened? It's horrible. An enemy army attacked, killed his servants, and stole all of his animals. No! Yeah? On the exact same day, lightning struck his house and destroyed what did Job possibly do to deserve all of this? Well, he must have done something pretty wrong to deserve this punishment. I don't think he has, though. No, but but God is just and fair. So Job must have done something pretty bad, otherwise God wouldn't punish him. Guys, it's Job. He's joining the call. <laughs> Hi, Job. You look pretty... Uh, sore. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. I've been praying and praying and listening to God, but I just don't understand why I'm suffering like this. What did I do wrong? Have you done anything to upset God? Uh, or your, your family? Your, your family, have they done anything wrong? Look, I, I don't think that I quite understand it, but I reckon God is still with me, even through all of this. God is still God, even through all this suffering. Why would God allow this to happen, though? I'm not sure that we can question God like that. Maybe it's a test. A pretty painful test. But... Look, look sorry, Jay, but I've got to go. Me too. Uh, me too. Bye, Joe. Oh, God, I, I don't understand why there's all this suffering. But you are God. You are faithful, and I'm going to stick by you. You give and you take away, yet you still remain God forever. Please, help me. Show me what to do next. Show me the way forwards. So Job's life probably felt quite scary at times and quite mixed up, a bit like this Rubik's Cube. A bit mixed up, muddled, really hard to make it all right again. If you've ever tried to do a Rubik's Cube, they're hard to put it straight again. I guess for many of us, our lives might feel a bit muddled at the moment. And the different colours on the Rubik's Cube perhaps remind us that maybe some people identify with this red colour. Red often reminds us of anger. Maybe some people identify with this blue colour because they're feeling a bit low or a bit depressed. And the yellow colour might remind us of fear. But our lives are in God's hands. And when we put our lives in God's hands, put our lives in God's hands, that's it. Suddenly, everything makes a lot more sense. We still have to live through the difficult times, but we can trust God to ultimately work for our good and that he is working in the situation. In God's hands, things can look and feel a bit different. So now the yellow might remind us of hope, the hope that we have knowing Jesus instead of fear. And where's the green side? Now you've sorted the Rubik's Cube out. The green side, well, now this might remind us of new life and opportunities that are ahead of us. And the red side perhaps reminds us of the blood of Jesus, that Jesus died for us and that therefore we carry his courage and his hope and his power. And the orange side, show the orange side, that now represents strength. And the blue, instead of depression, now makes me think of the faithfulness of Jesus. And the white side reminds us of God's angels, who he promises to send to work around us. Job knew that regardless of what was happening, God was right there with him, listening to his doubts and his questions. Finished! Yay! Well done, Matthew. What was it that Dawn said about yellow? Oh yes, yellow reminds us of the hope we have in knowing Jesus instead of fear. I imagine Job would have struggled at times to feel hopeful. When we think of his life and all that he went through, I can't imagine that I would have felt particularly hopeful in his shoes. 
And yet, what does Job do when he's faced with all these difficulties? He chooses to trust God. He expresses his true feelings, but then he realises that God is God, that actually that he is in control of all things, and who are we to question him? He still chooses to trust God when he knows that God is bigger than our lives, our questions, our feelings and our doubts. And when he puts his trust in him, he finds new hope for the future, which isn't disappointed. So how can we have faith like Job? Have you faced a difficult situation and had to choose whether you're going to trust God? Lexi has very kindly offered to share her story with us of a time when she chose to trust God in a difficult situation. Okay, so we're just thinking a bit about Job in the Bible um, and how he chose to trust God in a difficult situation. And um, thanks Lexi for agreeing to do this. Lexi has mentioned that there was a time that she decided to trust God in a difficult situation. And uh, she's gonna tell us a little bit more about that. So Lexi, can you tell us a bit about what it was um, and when it was? Um, on the 28th of January, 2019, I went in for my first surgery on my exostosis for my bone growth problems. Okay, brilliant. Thank you so much. And uh, can you tell us, I think you said that you prayed at that time when you were about to go in for surgery. You said a prayer. And what was it that, uh, that you prayed? So we prayed for the surgery to just go well in general, mm -hmm. to be watched over during the sur surgery and for a speedy recovery. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so um, uh, how did God answer your prayer? How did he help you? I think it just made me feel as there was someone that was making sure that it went okay and there was no massive problem, so I didn't need to worry, worry about all of that. Yeah. So I think that's, it gave me more confidence in it. Yeah, brilliant, that's fantastic. Uh, so how easy or hard was it to trust God? Um, at first I thought, or oh, well, how come someone who's not actually there help? Mm. But as it went through it, I thought, hang on, this I think is actually working and he's mm. making it feel as if that really nothing could go wrong as long as I know that he's by my side at every moment. Yeah. So, yeah. That's brilliant. Thank you, Lexi. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Um, I could say about like after it and how I went to sleep. Yeah, go for it. So, as we were arriving at the hospital, I got quite nervous about the going to sleep yeah. because I was worried about maybe not waking up again. So that all went fine and I woke up again, luckily. Yeah. After that, I felt um, dizzy and I, like, I just wanted to sleep and yeah. I felt a bit emotional. Yeah. 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 So that's how I felt after it. Yeah, understandable really. If you know you've been through quite a lot, so yeah, understandable that you probably felt quite emotional. Yeah. But that's really great that you said that you felt that God was you know was near and he was with you um and that he was by your side. That's just fantastic. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, Lexi, for sharing. That's brilliant. Thank you uh, for joining us this morning. If you'd like to make contact with us or ask for prayer, then please use the email addresses that will come up at the end of the service. And 11 o'clock Sunday mornings, please do join us for coffee and chat via Zoom at either Wollaston or Beaujet, and the information for that will also come up at the end of the service. This week, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. You are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence you won't let go. In the 
Beautiful strings your tree will hold Your great love will lead me free You are the peace in my troubled sea oh, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore. Tomorrow is with each morning I rise and sing My God's love will lead me through You are peace in my troubled sea oh, You are peace in my troubled sea oh. My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore, oh, oh, safe to shore. Fire before us, you're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Fire before us, you're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Fire before us, you're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Fire before us you're the brightest, you will lead us through the storms. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Oh, oh, safe to shore. Say to you,